Hello, John Sackers here. Okay, I just got the idea to make this video and I think it's a brilliant idea for a video, so I'm making it. And uh, I have to keep my voice down a little bit. It's late at night and my roommates are sleeping. I think one of the cats is playing in the kitchen right now, batting around a ball or something. Um, I didn't set up my green screen or anything. I, I just, I don't feel like that. It's late at night and I'm tired. And uh, yeah, I'm in an unfinished basement. Uh, this is where I live. and. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed of where I live compared to how so many people around the world live. I'm, uh, I feel very, very rich. I have a roof over my head. I have clean water to drink and, and clean clothes to wear and everything. So I feel very, very rich. I have musical instruments to play. So I'm not embarrassed. But I just wanted to make this video because I think it's a very important idea for a video. And so this video is about, you know, I feel like I want to make it now because I'm going out tomorrow. and. There are no guarantees, you know, life is very, very precious and I'm just a meat machine and my life could end any day. It could end tomorrow. So for some reason, I feel compelled to make this video now. And I just want to say, if something happened and you accidentally killed me, I want to say that don't be hard on yourself. It was an accident and I forgive you. Okay, so I completely forgive you if, you know, I'm out tomorrow and you're a drunk driver or something or, or you're not drunk and you just have yeah, an accident and you slam into me and kill me then don't be hard on yourself it was an accident and I completely forgive you okay even if I've had some people you know a little mad at me lately I I you know I'm pretty outspoken with my views and uh, maybe I'm a little bit of an eccentric artist and people don't understand me and they get mad at me and you know if, if for some reason I'm out somewhere and I don't know I don't know people or what people are capable of if one of you gets mad and shoots me or something. I don't know, anything can happen. If one of you kills me even, I still forgive you. And I don't want you to be hard on yourself because this may sound strange, but I actually don't even believe in free will. I think it's all genetics and life experiences. So I feel like I'm just along for a ride and in this crazy world and I'm grateful for the ride I've been on so far. I have a very loving family and many loving friends and I've had lots of fun being creative and things like that and I've gotten a chance to promote veganism around the world and it's been really wonderful. I've had a great life so far. So I'm just fortunate. If you're having a hard time in your life, I, you know, don't be hard on yourself because it's, it's the way I see it. It's not your fault. It's all just genetics and life experiences. You know, if you're, if you're a hard worker, well, you got lucky to have the genetics to be a hard worker. If you're on the lazy side, well, yeah, those are your genetics. So don't feel bad. And uh, yeah, so if you murdered me, <laughs> or if it was an accident or however, if, if anything happened and you ended up killing me, I just want you to, to realize it wasn't your fault whatsoever. You know, it's all genetics, life experiences. There's no free will as far as I know. So yeah, now I feel comforted, comforted to know because if I accidentally killed someone, I think I would feel very, very, very guilty and the guilt would bother me a great deal. You know, who knows what would happen. I'd feel, maybe I'd feel so guilty. Maybe I'd end up hurting myself. And so I want you, if anything happened and, and one of you out there in the world uh, killed me, I just want you to not feel guilty because I 100% believe it was not your fault. It's all, there's no free will, just genetics and life experiences. So even if you, even if you tortured me and murdered me, I don't hate you. I love you. I love everyone in the world. And so, yeah, if anything ever happens to me and I end up dying tomorrow or 30 years from now, now a video exists. And I hope this stays up on, on the internet. And now a video exists, uh, hopefully forever. And no matter what happens in life, if anything ever happens and I ended up getting killed by you or a bunch of people, uh, anyone who's responsible for my death, don't be hard on yourself. It wasn't your fault. There's no, no free will, just genetics, life experiences. It was not your fault. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting to babble, but hope I got the point across. So, yeah, I love everyone always. And don't be hard on yourself. No free will. Okay. I think I said what I had to say. Okay. Bye. I forgot to add something. Because it's all genetics and life experiences. Well, I want to give you some life experiences. For instance, if you're someone who doesn't like me, I want to give you some life experiences that will hopefully help you to not want to kill me because I very much want to be alive. I feel that I'm an important person because I'm promoting veganism and helping to make the world a vegan paradise. And I love life and I have... Lots I want to do in my life, so I, I want to give you some life experiences that will make you not want to kill me. 
I'm not saying there's anybody in the world who actually wants to kill me. You know, there's lots of people on the internet who just say crazy things because they're feeling angry or something. So I'm sure, I feel confident in saying there's no one in the world who really wants to kill me. But just in case there is, please don't. I, I very much do not want to die. I want to live. And uh, so please, <laughs> there you go. Now you have some life experiences that will hopefully make you not want to kill me. But yeah, I'm sure no one in the world actually wants to kill me. Okay, now I think I'm done. I love everyone. Bye. Go vegan.